Hello everybody, I'm Andy with Liminal Entertainment Technologies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to combine Touch OSC and Zoom OSC so that you can control a Zoom call from a mobile device. Uh, in this video I'm just going to show you how to use the editor for Touch OSC, flash it onto my phone, and then use pinning to the second screen function in Zoom OSC. So let's get right into it. So, going over to uh, a Zoom call here, I have our usual suspects, Pat, Jane, Liz, and John, and uh, I'm running Zoom OSC in multi-monitor mode, so I have an additional display here that I'm just going to sort of leave in the center. I've already pinned Pat, I'm going to go ahead and release that pin. And we'll just remember that this call is running here uh, in the background. And what I'm going to show you now is the Touch OSC app, which is an app that's pretty popular for the transmission of OSC packets from mobile devices to other devices on the network. Um, it's really cool, it's very flexible. Um, and it comes in a couple of parts. There's the editor, which you download for your computer. And then there is the Touch OSC mobile app, which you download on your phone or your tablet. Um, and you basically flash what you make on the editor onto that mobile device. So this is what you get when you create a new surface. Um, I'm going to create a little function that allows me to basically um, draw out this gallery view on screen. And then based on what button I hit on the view, I'm going to pin the appropriate person to the second display. So it'll be a small little utility, but something that um, should demonstrate the power of this application. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch my orientation to horizontal because that seems to reflect more what the Zoom call looks like. And uh, then from here, I'm going to right click in the canvas and I'm going to create a push button. I'm going to go ahead and size that up a little bit so it's larger. And then I am going to um, copy paste it. like so and maybe you know this is going to be a little bit more of a uh, art than a science here but you can get quite particular with all these different types of buttons that you see on this drop down list rotaries um, uh, toggles um, uh, xy pads all sorts of amazing things that you can do and here i am just drawing sort of sad looking boxes but you know kind of roughing it in um, uh, but there's all sorts of things you can do with it, but we're just going to keep it simple for now because I know that's what people are looking for. So, um, all right, this roughly approximates what a Zoom gallery view with four people looks like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use um, our understanding of the Zoom OSC API document, which we have a separate video on, to program each of these buttons to send different commands so that when you tap them, it sends that OSC packet to Zoom OSC. So I'm going to start with the top left one. And I'm going to uncheck the box for auto, and I'm going to type in what I remember our API call is for pinning somebody based on their index in the gallery view. That is slash zoom slash gal index, capital I, slash pin two. All right, and now I have to choose values. So because this is a push button, it has an off state and an on state. And you can see down here, it has a send on press and a send on release. When you press the button, it sends the high value on the two side. And when you release the button, it sends the value on the low side. Now, what we want to do here is we want to turn off the send on release so that we can program the value that we want. And so this is going to be a zero because the first person in the, um, the gallery view, the person in the top left is going to have index zero, gal index zero. So what the total result of this command will be when I hit this button, it will send slash zoom slash gal index slash pin two argument zero. And we're going to repeat this on all the rest of the buttons, just incrementing as needed. So again, unchecking auto slash zoom slash gal index slash pin two. And I'm going to put a one here and I'm going to uncheck the send on release. And the same here slash zoom slash gal index slash pin two. This will be two. Uncheck. And over here, finally, I will do slash zoom slash gal index slash pin two, and this will be value three. And again, we uncheck the release. So now it's time for us to put this onto the phone so that I can switch this from my mobile device. All right, so here I am on my mobile device. Um, I've just launched the Touch OSC app. And what I'm going to do is I am going to flash what is on my computer right now onto my phone. So I'm going to start by hitting the sync button in the touch OSC user interface. And that's going to pop up this window for layout sync. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to my layout button inside of the app. And I'm going to say add from editor. And you'll see Atlas has appeared on my list. Atlas is the name of the computer that currently has the editor on it. So I'm going to click on Atlas, and then I will instantly see all of the views that I have loaded into Atlas. And I can see that this one that we're working on right now is Untitled 4. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to hit 
uh, the OSC settings. So here is where I have to input the information so that the phone knows where to send the OSC packets that we are creating. And so I know that the private IP address of my desktop, which is running Zoom OSC, is 192.168.1.49. And we know from the settings menu on Zoom OSC, if we look over here, that the port that it's listening to is 9090. So inside of the app, I'm going to set this to 9090, and I've already set that up. So after you've applied that, you can hit the Done button. And if you look now, if we sort of rotate the phone sideways is the way that it's intended to be held, we now have the four buttons that we originally had to set up the gallery view. So I can stop syncing on here and I can minimize the Touch OSC app and I'll move our Zoom OSC settings pane out of the way. And so now what you're going to see is as I press buttons on the phone, it's going to pin the appropriate person to the second display, which again, I have sort of floating in the middle of my screen. So let's start by pinning the bottom right. That pins John, bottom left, pins Liz, top right, pins Jane, and top left pins Pat. So I can rotate through the list, successively pinning people to the second display just by tapping buttons. And I can do it rather quickly from this mobile device. Now this is a sort of a small scale example, but you can see how it could scale up from here to create something really powerful. So with all that said, that is how to use the Touch OSC app to control a Zoom call using Zoom OSC. Uh, feel free to check out the other videos on our channel to see how to integrate Zoom OSC with other utilities to get more control of your Zoom call.